And so what I want to introduce today is talking a little bit about winter manure spreading considerations. And so I think a question that we often get from citizens, from the media, is why are we winter spreading in the first place? And obviously, some of our states have outright banned uh, winter manure spreading. And I think we need to acknowledge that regulations are required some, but not all of our livestock farms to have adequate winter manure storage. Uh, part of the reason for that is storage is not something that typically cash flows. Lenders uh, question an investment without cost share in manure storage. And I personally have worked with a number of farmers right on the urban fringe that are less willing uh, to invest in livestock facilities, whether it's a barn, whether it's manure storage, because they don't know how much longer they're going to be farming there. And quite honestly, older facilities don't have a very high resale value. And obviously, this year in particular, weather conditions are definitely playing a part. When I've talked with some of the manure applicators here in Wisconsin, we typically find that a wet fall like this is going to disrupt manure applications for the next 18 months. Uh, we obviously have folks that are going to be full now that, and full in spring that normally wouldn't be. That's going to impact spring applications and fall applications next year as well. So part of planning for winter application is realizing that when we get into a wet fall, early snow situation like some areas have seen, it can be very disruptive in the nutrient management planning process for a year or more. So year-round spreading has happened for hundreds of years. Why, is, why are we talking about it? Why is it a concern now? I think there's a couple of factors. One is a farm with 200 cows is going to produce a lot more manure than one with 20 cows did 40, 50 years ago. And the other thing that we now know and we've experienced across the upper Midwest is the technology is now there to test well water for viruses, for pathogens, and that technology really wasn't there 10 years ago. Um, so whereas we might have thought, well, the water turns brown certain times of the year, we won't drink it, we now know exactly what's in there, and um, that has caused some citizen concern. If we look back, I think 40, 50 years, the idea was when it was cold, you spread the manure as close to the barn as you can, you get back into the barn as quick as you can. And this is an example of spreading probably a little bit too close to the barn and getting back in uh, and getting warm again. Nutrient management plans have forced us to go farther out, which has definitely changed things. But I always like to point out that manure storage is not always the best solution either. Um, what we have seen sometimes is that when we have a year's worth of manure, six months worth of manure, we put it on and maybe the conditions aren't right, but that's the date that the manure applicator is available. It's the time of the year when we've got the labor if we're doing it ourselves. And if the weather turns, we can have problems. So given the fact that manure storage is not the answer, uh, winter manure spreading plans and alternative strategies really need to be considered. Um, we get into situations where we get a freeze up before manure is a pumped out and applied, we have to make modifications. Manure application in frozen and snow-covered ground is a challenge. Um, and obviously, when we get precipitation, we get snow melt runoff, uh, we do run into some problems, and that sometimes causes not only well water issues, but fish kills as well. So today's program, what we're going to be doing here is um, briefly um, giving a couple of summaries, and of course you can contact the speakers afterward for more information. Eric Cooley is going to be our first presenter talking about the research and what it says, the impact of winter spreading on surface water, and also maybe looking at some drain tile work that they've done as well. He'll be followed up by Brent Peterson, who will be talking about winter manure spreading plans um, done here in Brown County, Wisconsin, uh, really working with the landowners to decide where and when to spread manure in the winter has had a significant positive impact on water quality. And then we'll finally close out today with that professional manure applicator's perspective as well. <laughs>